morning guys so welcome to today's video it is afternoon it has been raining all day the minute we get all the grass cut it rains poured rain but my garden has been needing some water so i'm happy about it but i have decided that these over here have to be cucumbers they look like cucumbers they act like cucumbers they have to be cucumbers but i did not plant cucumbers here i only opened bean seeds and pea seeds but you think i would have noticed that they were different but anyways i have them all pretty much going up this thing now so that my garden isn't so messy do you guys remember when i told you that with certain vegetables if you don't pull them out if you don't pull them out by the root and you just break them off and use the vegetable they'll grow back well this is my lettuce so i just recently did this with the back lettuce here i just broke it off like this got rid of the lettuce that well then get rid of it I put it in the fridge but break it off don't pull it out actually I could do some more of this <laughs> but anyways you just break it off and that's what I did with this stuff and then it all just grows back see that how it grew back it doesn't grow back as big so that one over there is pretty much finished so I'm gonna break it off again and it'll come back a few times but anyway, it's so good because then you get more yield in your garden. I got all these plants from Sam's dad, who is an amazing gardener, and he really fertilizes his plants. Fertilizer, I feel like, just makes everything grow so tall, but doesn't yield as much fruit. So, oh gosh, look at this little guy. is really low. What in the heck? Um, but anyways, I have a lot of tomatoes. Still none of them are green, or still none of them are red. None of them have turned red yet, but there are a lot. But this is another plant that you can do the same thing with, with green onions. Look at how good they look. I love green onion. Um, I love it in certain things. Anyways, you can just come out here, cut these off right here, just cut it all off. Preserve your onions. I like to freeze them. You can freeze these and then pull them out all winter when you need them, which is what I want to do. Um, and then leave the bulb in the ground and they'll just keep growing all summer. They'll just continue to grow. So I'm probably going to do that today. So here's another example. So see, these are pumpkins that I sowed right into the ground. I just put the seed into the ground. These are zucchinis. See how tall they grew up? Sam's dad gave me those and he fertilized them a lot of fertilizer. See how how big they've grown? How tall? Versus my short little pumpkins. And there's a zucchini. There's another zucchini. And maybe this one right here. So this is mine. And that's his. Do you see the difference in the height? <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to say that because I was walking by admiring my garden. Like I like to do every day. It's actually freezing out. Like I can wear a sweater and be comfy. Oh my gosh, Ellie. We saw Snickers today out the window. We were looking at him and he was in his pool. It was pouring rain, pouring rain. And he's just in his pool swimming. <laughs> the little goats are in there. Today is the day that we have to try and figure out these skurs. So if you don't know what a skur is, I've told you guys before, it's like when you get your goat, <laughs> come on. When you get your goat disbudded, you get their horns burned off just as they start to come up when they're babies. And then sometimes they grow back. So they don't grow back completely. They grow back just a little tiny bit and you have to kind of break off that spur. Skur, I mean, so we're gonna try and do that. Yeah, it literally took us a few seconds. I should have filmed it. He was so good, he just sat there. So, once the skurs grow back, there's no blood supply in them. But Sam's like, Why do we have to even do this? So, the reason that you have to do it is because if you leave the skurs to grow, sometimes, especially with a buckling, because they're hormones, their horn, their skurs, which are like horns with no blood supply. Ooh. The, they will they can actually grow a blood supply eventually but the horn will continue to grow and it'll grow kind of warped and it can grow like like this and then go back like into their face or their head or whatever so I wanted to just take those off it was easy just like a couple of little clips it was gone they're gone they're mostly gone we might have to do it again because he's a boy I love that sweater so uh, the reason that Sam said like why in the world did you did they even do they even just bud goats to be honest, I'm not one to like to disbud goats. If I don't have to, like if it's just gonna be a pet goat, 
then I don't want to disbud it. But people have like all these arguments like, oh, well, I have like pulled goats that don't grow horns, so I can't have horned goats because they'll hurt them. Or, or like if you have a buckling, you want it to not have horns because the hormones that they get can kind of make them a little feisty. So there are so many reasons why people dehorn. If I have a situation where I don't have to disbud a goat, I definitely won't. <laughs> because God doesn't make mistakes, guys. He does not make mistakes. He gives goats horns for for very, very specific reasons. We, so cute. Yeah. Is this a horn? No. Yeah, a hor the horns are just tiny, tiny, tiny little pieces. You would never find them. But anyway, he's got still tiny little skurs there, but they're not bad. You're probably thinking, like, who cares about skurs? Yeah, that's true. It's just a part of being on the farm. Now it's a part of, like having things to do every day you have stuff every day there's work to be done there's a job to be done and getting rid of scurs is one of those things i should have brought an apple for you i should have you probably want an apple huh yeah you probably do so the next thing that has to be done is his little tusks have to go they're not very big though it'd be really difficult to remove them you know he can't have tusks yeah, well, he's scary. He'd be scary with tusks. Hi, oh, baby. He's such... So oh, there's a goat on my back. Hello. <laughs> Winston still loves Sophie. So the plan is to put him back with the girls, right? Even though Ziggy, our adorable little buck... Uh-oh, stay. Our adorable little noisy buck, even though uh, he needs a friend, eventually he'll get to this stage where he will be mean to a friend so he doesn't he won't he'll be alone eventually or he'll likely be with the pig he's on the easy way i love looking at my garden though sophie we got more pumpkins look there's another little pumpkin starting the pig was just trying to hump the goat that's not a good plan I don't know if you guys can see, but all my peas are starting to come in. Like, a lot of them. And, I have beans in there. I think I already showed you guys. But, none of them are really ready yet. But, even over on this side, so many. Do you guys see them all? Holy moly. Let's see if the horses like peas. I don't even know if they're, they're bad for horses. We'll have to look. So, peas are good for horses. They're high in protein. Anyways, oh my gosh, this bag got so small. What? Remember when this bag used to be huge? Yeah. Half the size, double the price. Half the size, ten dollars more. That's crazy. Do you guys remember? Yeah, go ahead, open that, Gabby. So, do you guys remember? Like, we always buy our treats from the tax store, which we love, but they're like twenty dollars, and it's for like a bag a quarter of this size. So twenty dollars. This bag is thirty-five dollars. And it's huge. Like, this is enough treats to last us the whole summer. And let's see, show them what they look like. Yeah, they just look like that. All right. Oh, yeah, that's smart. I'm just going to hold them. I don't think you need that many. Well, look at that, though. Makes me feel good to have this many. We, Sylvia and I Still forgot. Hey, gets in here. Oh yeah, we have to put these up high, Sam. This is pig territory. Or just close the door. The door is closed. So uh, Sophie and I love these treats because we like how... I don't really think they're so big though. Yeah, they're huge, but we love that they're like cheap for how many you get. And we always forget about them though. Every time we're at the tech store, we buy a new bag of treats. And then the other day, Sophie's like, Mom, just buy the ones from the feed store. And I'm like, oh yeah. But the bag used to be massive. I do not know what happened. But Ruby's here. Ruby is another one that usually doesn't go near the horses. She chooses. <laughs> They're funny. Oh, you guys are going to be dirty. Look, my pool's still standing. Come on, we got treats. Okay, I see Lady looking. And Willow. Lady and Willow, yep. Okay, wait, who's going to be the... honey over there? Why is honey over there? Because she's little Miss Houdini. She goes through any fence. Come on. Come on, Penny. Penny's down there. Come on, Pen! Come on, Penny! She hears me. I got a treat for you. Come on, Pen! We'll win!
what you want, you guys. You want a horse that always comes. Look at how cute her face is. Look, she has a little white spot. She is so cute. She like, I love her in the summer without her hair. All right, back to work. Come on, come on, Pen. Now I'm dying to let you know what I feel is some kind of wonderful, some kind of magical. And Stormy Boy, the dogs come right over. They're like, I don't like this. <laughs> okay. Good boy. All right, here comes Penny. And then ladies, oh, and then Willow at the end. And then ladies last. I don't really like this. Who took a pee? Penny. What a good girl. <laughs> Ruby is, she was right behind you. Oh, she went over to <laughs> Gabby's surrounded by her horses. I know, but she loves you. I mean, she loves Sophie more, but... Hi, Pen! Do you like my peas? I grew them for you. Oh, come on. Any other day, if I didn't have treats, you'd take a pea. It's yum. Hurry this up because it's raining. Yeah, it's supposed to pour. I had some, I have like some groundwork that I wanted to do with all of our horses. But look, isn't that weird? Your horses stayed with you. Her horses went for her. And my horse is with me and I don't even have any treats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> okay. I feel that lady is like on the fence. I feel she'll be a family horse one day. I feel like Gabby can ride her, Sophie can ride her. Can I have another treat? Because my poor horse is staying with me out of kindness and love. Gabby, give me a treat. It was pouring rain this morning. Girl, I brought all the treats and everyone's like, I need to Ooh. know. Need to well, that's why we Ellie, come on, get up here. Ellie, up. Oh my gosh, look at my legs. Here, Pen. Penny, look, I finally got a treat for you. Here. Here. Pen, look. It's not a pee. Penny, I promise. It's not a pee. Ellie, stay on the bench. Here. Oh my gosh, traitor. Look, I have that too. I promise. I'm just here <laughs> my dogs, they, so uh, dogs sometimes freak out. Oh, Ellie, don't bite her. Dogs sometimes freak out at the prospect of being around horses. Ruby always does, <laughs> and so does Ellie. Like, Ellie likes them, but they, they get nervous. Get up on the bench. Get up. Oh, don't get on me. <laughs> Gosh, here, Pen. <laughs> I'm covered in dogs now. Here, Pen. Covered in dogs because, yep. <laughs> but I'd much rather my dogs stay safe than be risky and cocky around the horses. Look who's with me, Mom. I can't see. There's a horse standing in my way. I still can't see. Ruby, up. <laughs> Get up there, get up, stay. Oh, this bench is slippery, I almost All right. I'm breaking the bench. I can see that. Oh, it's slippery. All right. Star, would you go? But he he notices that Ruby's new. Ruby never comes into the into never the. Never does Daisy either. I know Not Ruby and me. Daisy. Molly will come. You're like a giraffe compared to Storm. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> look at her. Grace, here you want more treats? Storm's a short king. Anyway, I have some work that I want us to do, but the rain is supposed to start back any minute now. Ew, the pain. Penny girl. Look, these two get along. They all, she gets along with everyone. I know, cause she's like, don't fight, just. I know, she's such a love. Ruby's trying to like, steal my horse now. Well, she, you're leaving her out. 
I can't help it. I'm babysitting. This horse is taller than me and I'm standing on a bench. She likes me ever since I saved her from Storm. She, uh, she's, she, she has, <laughs> don't wreck the grass. She has calmed down a lot since Lady came. Lady's changed our herd. To live without your love It's like I've been waiting around for you Why did you take so long to come to me? Maybe you were waiting around for me too So I feel you're some kind of wonderful Some kind of magical woman My love's for real I need to show you right now Take a look I can't even move. <laughs> I'm standing on the bench with my chickens. <laughs> Everywhere I go. There's... So this is why I always never get to do stuff with my horse. Oh, pen. Because I always like him and handling something else at the same time. He knows to stand. Actually, no, Grace. To stand. stand. All right, walk beside him. Try this exercise. All right, come here. Walk at his neck. Put a treat in your hand. I'll look. Mom. Aww. She wants a treat, but she's hugging. Okay. And then stop. And then back up. He thinks we're... I got you, there you go. And then give him a treat. Storm is one of those horses that if you give him something that he likes, he, he will absolutely... But it's also hard to find. <laughs> he ran for it. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but they mutually decided to run for it. Go away. Go get your horse. See, she doesn't like him going near her. Isn't that funny? And it's not for no reason. She doesn't do that to any other horse. He's like the least pushy one. Honey's the most, Honey and Willow are the most pushy. Look at her, she's cute. She is cute. I love draft horses. I did not want to get a draft horse for the longest time, and now I'm hooked. A puppy. You know what's a great she way can live to in your horse? Oh, it's a great way to... If you run and try to jump on them, do it. All right, do it. All Be right. careful, though. It's slippery. And All right, this is Gabby's. She probably was ridden she by She probably was ridden by kids her whole life who just she jumped on bareback and rode. I'll try because I don't want to fall. But this, Storm hates it when I do that. All right, do it. Let's see. I was going to jump on. Jump on. I can't. Yeah, I can't get away from this one or that one. She's a puppy dog. She's at your feet. You can't oh, jump that yeah. far. I can't. No, I'm not doing that. No thanks. <laughs> chicken. I got all the chickens on the bench. I need a hand. I need a hand. I need a hand. Drag you over. Oh, he's junky. Push him over. Oh. <laughs> My horse. I was talking about a leg up, but push this side. I can't jump this far. Do it. Here, I'll leg you up. I'm okay. One, two, three. Wait a minute. He's running. Storm. Good boy. Wait, no, 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 wait. I have a treat. Stop it. Sophia! <laughs> What's that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Honey's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was having heart palpitations for you, but then she's over here peeing. Time with Fiona, she made me get on Sparky, and some other kid legged me up while she held him. And she just started running away as I was trying to still get on. I witnessed that. Who was running away, Fiona? Yeah, she was leading Sparky, trotting him away, and I was half hanging on. Those are what. That's what. Somehow I managed to stay on. That's what youth is is for. That's what fun is. I was still trying to get That's on. That's how you learn I to was, stay on. I was on my stomach, so I had to like swing over. Just stay on. It was kind of fun. Like, yeah, exactly. It was fun. That's because Sparky is, has a really big back. I know. He's like a couch for sure. He's... Uh, all right. 
So here's my question. How are we getting inside? Ruby's having heart palpitations too. She's like, don't smell my bum. Don't smell me. They're so used to like Ellie and Molly out here, but they're not used to Ruby. So they're smelling her. Ella, Look, these stay down. Long, and he's so short compared to oh. All right, well, take the horses away so that the dogs and I can run for it. Ellie, Just run. don't, Ellie tries to, to snap Ellie's at them. Here. She doesn't like bite them, but she she pretends like she's gonna bite them. That's not something I need oh. while she's on my lap. Stop. Go, Ruby, <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> That was not good. She's okay, I didn't do anything. All right, I need to go. All right, well, the herd is on the move. I gotta get Ellie out of here without slipping on this bench. You guys all got to go. Run, jump. Just this one will bite you. <laughs> I'm carrying my dog. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, that was fun. I'm glad we got to see them because it's supposed to rain for two days. That was definitely a bit nerve-wracking. Hi, oh, Penny. You like to be away from all the horses, don't you? I know. I was going to do some tricks with you. Oh my gosh, look at your mane. I got to brush that. Don't you know?